Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Unicorn Overlord. Last time we left off, we got Dinah on the team. And I th think uh, we'll probably head up here this time. Uh, I wouldn't mind taking care of this and taking care of this. Let's go see if we can fix up the harbor yet. Yes, we can. Cool. And this will take us to a distant shore. Now that we can board the ship. This little town has started seeing some life again, thanks to the supplies you brought us. You're welcome. Twelve renown. Alright, so... Armor and stuff. I don't really think I needed much from there. I don't really have a lot of money anyway. We will station a guard. Unify, get in there. And board a ship. They won't even get close. Let's go. Where are you taking me? All right, what do we got? Do of warding. That is the. We also have a do of knowledge. Increase the targets. Magic attack. Uh. Who do I use that uses a lot of magic attack? Um. Let's do level. Besides Yana, because I'm pretty sure I've already given her one before. Uh. Let's see, Liza, Ramona, not Selvi, Ridiel, Relinor. I suppose I could give it to, to what's his face too. Uh, I do really like uh, Rosalinda, so let's give you one. And magic defense. Um, hmm. That maybe goes on like, you know, one of my people here in the front. I feel like out of these characters, probably like Lex or something needs it most. So you don't get eaten up by magic as hard. I know I'm going to be using Lex, so. Uh, okay, so what is over... Oh, okay, I can continue past there. The two divine shards. Five divine shards. Okay, well that was pretty good. I expected something a little bit more wild and crazy, but, uh... I mean, that's not anything to turn my nose up at. Five Divine Shards is good. We can start working on getting a, more of that really good equipment now that I've, uh... got the friend Baris like I wanted. So... All right. Let's see. How you doing? Going to the secluded shore. Guess I'd better start pulling my own weight around here, too. All right, so let's go back to Kranich and see what we can do over here. Some sea breams. All right, uh, Liberation Army sets out to defeat Adelina and free Kranich Harbor from Zenoiran rule. And that was a witch. That wasn't even like a sorceress that we're going to be fighting here. Uh, those barricades and traps are looking pretty annoying, but... uh. Nothing just throwing a warrior in a squad can't solve. Um, we got witches. Yeah, source. Yep. Yeah, or or uh, warlocks. Not warlocks. Uh, ma just mages? What exactly are they called? Source. Wizards. There we go. Yeah, they're not called warlocks yet. Um, okay. I mean, this looks incredibly simple. They're also not the leveled up classes that I'm used to dealing with, so I'll run through this real quick. It's here. Can't wait for my next fight. Level up for Berenice. Good job, Berenice. Good job. My bow is feeling lighter than ever. Level up for Unifi and Galadmir. Keep it up, everyone. Good, good. March. Onward. And I think we're probably just going to be wrapping this up at this point. Um, you can take out that crew, and then uh, I'll let. A lane get the win the win here basically. We did it. Cool, cool. The path is and we are going to be good in a short a short here. period here. Just 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 a little bit of time we need. We'll uh, attack one more time and this should be death. Yeah, that's death. Okay, cool. There we go. Mission taken care of. That one uh, wasn't too bad. We did get some levels for some people. Um, fly even farther now. Good level up, Ridiel. And you, Raylanor. So, 
Um, there is one thing I wanted to mention specifically. Uh, I didn't use two characters in this, and I mentioned this way earlier on in the playthrough, and basically I stopped worrying about it for a little bit, because it wasn't like the biggest deal, but we have a lot of duplicate characters at this point. Um, and up, like, promoting all of them so they're actually useful and viable in battle just isn't going to happen. Like, there's, there's so many at this point. At least not with the funds and renown and stuff that I, or, or honors that I currently have. Um, we're forever grateful for what you've done here. And we hope we can live our lives in peace free from all those horrible conflicts. So, to counteract that, um, there's a few characters I think I probably won't use anymore. So I looked at a few and kind of compared stats and how they look and everything like that. Um, Mandarin, I just, I just don't feel the need. Growth type 1 defensive, growth type 2 offensive. Rolf's not much better, if I'm going to be honest, with offensive and guardian, which I think gives block rate, but it's whatever. So probably won't use Mandarin anymore. Um... Magellan's already a land schnecht, so I'm going to continue to use Magellan, but, um, who's the next one? Nina. Nina's a keen all-rounder, which isn't super exciting for a warrior, and you're not promoted yet. So probably not going to use you anymore. Um, Kitra is a offensive go-getter, which is fine. Um, I will take that. So I might promote Kitra. Having another warrior to use is good. Jeremy is a offensive go-getter, but he's also not upgraded. Whereas Magellan is offensive, offensive, and upgraded. So I'll probably stick with Magellan for that. And then we also have Berenice, of course, who is uh, fantastic. So probably won't use, um, uh, who was it, Nina? Uh, probably won't use you too much more. Uh, Tatiana is an offensive guardian, which is like, eh, it's fine. It's fine. We'll probably continue to use you. We do have a lot of healers, though. Um, Bruno's defensive and precise, which is good. Uh, Osh is precise lucky. I mean, I, we don't have another of Osh, so I'm fine with using that. This is mostly just for the characters where we have a lot of, like the warriors, the archers. Um, Gamble and Travis, since they're my only two rogues, I'm completely fine with using both of those. Um, and I want to say there was like one more up here that I wanted to say I might hold off on using don't see them at the moment, but uh, Ray Lenore, I suppose, is less good because you're defensive precise. You're not as good as um, Ithelion. So if I was, if I only wanted to go down to one Elven Fencer, I would probably go down to just Ithelion since he is a uh, offensive growth type, growth type. Does it matter a ton? No, but if I'm going to have to kind of cull some characters from the squad anyway, I might as well cull the ones that I just don't think are as efficient, you know? So, and I, it's not like I have like any strong feelings about Jeremy or Nina. Sorry to all the Jeremy and Nina fans. We're such a waste of everyone's time. The forests give us trees, the rivers water, the earth soil. All language, all wisdom, life springs from those gifts. Yet still people fight each other for more. Um, I should also mention, I'm still gonna, like, you know, do all of their, like, uh, their, their, their romances, or, I, I, I'm calling them romances, I mean, that's basically what they are, um, and all of their cutscenes and everything, it's not like I'm completely throwing them to the wayside, I just might not use them in combat anymore, because it'll also be easier on me just to stick with a few characters that I use, rather than constantly swapping around. My sister wants to go somewhere called Eelheim? She says it's all flowers and trees and nobody ever fights there ever. Um, it'll also just keep my characters generally better leveled for the area because you've probably noticed a lot of the characters I'm using are like five levels behind some of the battles I'm doing at this point because I'm trying to level everyone. This town used to be full of traders looking to do business with Pastorius. A few of them, uh, ever actually traveled north on account of the cold. That's a northern girl, Adelina, I think it was. She spent plenty of time at the tavern in town complaining about her oppressive employers. Which she will, but she wasn't so bad in my book. Hi, you. So Norman commander who governed our town was actually quite a capable leader. Makes you wonder how they ended up working in a remote place like this. Okay, deliveries. Uh, I can definitely do all of these because we have a ton of this stuff. Yay! 
good. Oh, whoops, no sensible army something. But now the town will know peace once more, and it's all thanks to you. I'm sorry I skipped your dialogue, friend. I didn't mean it, I promise. Oh, did we completely restore? Yeah, that was the final town, wasn't it? We've uh, completely restored Drakenhold. Well, that's a good feeling. Yeah, 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 yeah. When your army first arrived in these lands, Drakenhold was home to naught but rubble, ruin, and pestilence. Yet that era will become a mere footnote in our history, owing wholly to the resilience of our citizens in the aid of liberation. Hard to imagine it wasn't long ago that our nations were at each other's throats. But Elaine's never cared about that kind of stuff, he just keeps marching on, same as always. Now that you mention it, this victory should serve as impetus for our homelands to mend their troubled past. But first we have a war to win. Indeed we do. It is a fight I'm honored to be personally a part of. And when the final battle is someday upon us, our two armies shall stand as one in service of Fevrith, I promise you that. You successfully restore all towns in Drakenhold. Indeed I have! Yay! That's cool. That's a good feeling. Uh, that's the other thing that's gonna be useful about me not using the dupe characters. I feel like more unique characters, like, um, Virginia, I haven't given as much attention, despite them being unique, just because there's, you know, so many other characters to level up, basically. So, this will help you with that as well. I'm sorry, uh, these weapons suck. I might not find any better ones in Drakenhold, but I can find better ones other places. Hate to break it to you, friend. I will take your rock salt, though. But, uh, I don't want any of the weapons, so... I did station you here, right? Yep. Okay. I expect little trouble. Uh, I wonder if you like reading. Hey, you want some secular texts? No. I'm touched by your kindness, truly. Sorry. I don't know, you're an owl. You know, you seem smart. <laughs> you might have liked reading. Owls are, uh... A little dumb as far as birds, uh, go. As far as I know. The support for, uh, uh, for us is more meaningful than I can truly state. I pray it lasts for the rest of time. Got a ship here heading for another shore in Vestorius. Let's, uh, let's go. Also, I can increase the size of another one of my squads to five, which will be quite fun. Quite, 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 quite fun. Hello. Uh, oh no. I thought I was sitting on an item or something. So is this just... Oh. It just, it just takes me down here, huh? This isn't even like an interesting shore. I guess I could have come here slightly early? Or something, maybe? Maybe. Alright, well, uh, that's that. One thing I did want to do, too... Um... You don't see it here. Is it here? Yeah, quest log. I just want to take a peek at my quest to make sure I'm not forgetting anything here. Soldier of the Ancients. Yeah, we still need to work on that. Uh, oh, we never did this one. Yeah, I thought I, thought I had done that one. Uh, but we have not, actually. So let me go take care of this, um, and we'll take care of that other similar kind of mission, basically. So, I, I thought I had, I had done this one, that's why I was ignoring it, but, uh, yeah. Aid Sylvie. So, what do we got? Uh, Ballista, got some things to take out. Let's see, Cavalry. Yeah, getting that, uh, getting that ballista as soon as I possibly can will probably help quite a bit. And I can just kind of clean up the rest of these characters. Uh... Let's see, we got... These dorks... Okay, yeah, I mean, this shouldn't be too hard to finish off here. There we go. Ayana level up. Uh, ignore my, uh... Ignore you in a very bad position. Um, I was kind of hoping to, uh, distance swap with you. I kind of just, I kind of just threw this unit in and they killed a bunch of the annoying people up here because I wanted to get to the ballista. But, uh, yeah, I think they're... I think they're not long for this world. I mean, I could, I suppose I could give them, like, a smoke to nuts if I really wanted to save them. Um, so they can actually move. So, let's just get them out of there that way. To better serve terror, Level up for Athelion. It shouldn't come as a Level up for Rosalind. Do you see now? Athelion referred I'll to her as Rosalind and not Rosalinda. And I, I could have sworn place. that at some point a character said Rosalinda. 
maybe they did. Sometimes, like, you know, different characters will pronounce things differently. Because the voice actors got, you know, either didn't get any voice direction or got different voice direction, depending. That is a level up for Travis. And, uh, I think we're basically just gonna be cleaning up the rest of the map here with you. I'm not worrying too much about, uh, how much damage my squads are taking. Oh yeah, by the way, I did put Ocles in. I suppose that, uh, is semi-important. I also fixed something that I believe was a problem with Ocles' stuff. I had it set to only use Spiral Sword if there was a flying target. But I never set up another Spiral Sword, so you were always using Shield Smite, which isn't, like, terrible. It does lower defense, but... Obviously, I would want to use this against high evasion targets, basically. So. Yeah. Also, the squad having, like, no health and being able to go in and just beat them up and heal. Pretty funny. Keep getting shot. And we get a level up for Rolf. Straight up healing off of you, Anyone nerds. Now. I mean, we're not doing much damage to you either, but... I am healing off of you. I've reached my limit. Alright, oh, so sure. this squad can probably finish things from here. Uh, we're not doing a ton of damage to them, probably because we completely missed the flying units a fair bit, but... Um, Yana does have the true, s the true scythe, which we can give people. So, there we go. There's uh, this one taken care of as well. Could you perhaps praise me a bit? Maybe, Osh, if you're good, but only if you're good. Uh, we also do need to go, um, increase the size of one of our squads. I do still need to go do that. So, uh, we will go do that, and then, uh, I don't think I'm gonna do another one of the generic battles this episode. Just because we've, you know, already done two of these this episode. Fascinating, we've earned a reward. Uh, let's be off. Thank you. Alright, cool. So, that's taken care of. Uh, rapport between Hilda and Fran. That's an interesting one. Uh, alright. So now we go back up here and we take care of this. I'm just gonna have to remember that this sigil trial is a thing that I need to... That I need to work on. And, yeah, we're pretty much good everywhere else. So, let's just get back up here in the best Bastorius and see if we can get into, like, a interesting mission. Maybe we can. Hello. Ooh, there's even a battle down here. Yeah, I guess I never like fully explored down here in this area because uh, after after I freed that town, I guess. So we can go ahead and take care of that now. So and I can also hit up the fort to do the thing I talked about. Hello. Commanding the Griffin Master will grant your allies increased attack power, and as you might already know, Fatal Dive deals damage proportion to our current HP. Try deploying a hoplite against me if you wish to see more. Yeah. Yeah. That would be scary. Uh, we don't really have a squad super well suited to taking you out. Actually. Um... We need some magic damage, probably, to get past the hoplite and stuff. What if, in this squad, I took out you and put in... How's Mirard look? Probably not. Oh, no. That does that does do it. Okay, cool. I think it's also cl night or close to night, too, so... Now the damage dealt by critical dive will increase our, or decrease depending on your current HP. As such, we pair well with clerics and their wonderful healing skills. The other thing I was thinking about... We do have a skill on someone that can overheal, which would be phenomenal on that, because if it does based off of your current HP, if we overheal you, it would do even more. So that's something to think about, I believe. I do want to promote Hilda if given the chance, because I, I would like to try and use Hilda more and just generally be better with her. Where foxes like me are particularly good at avoiding enemy attacks. That skill only goes stronger when we fight at night. Mountains to the north are besieged by blizzards the whole year round, making passage quite difficult. Best to keep your distance if you aren't on the market for a coffin made of ice. Been hearing all sorts of rumors about bestials like me going berserk. Almost like they lost their minds or something. Scary stuff. Hi. It's where foxes can use nocturnal evade. We immediately recover PP if we dodge one at night. 
making us practically impossible to hit. You're welcome to see for yourself. Yeah, let's see. Ah, that didn't work out for you. Thanks for that. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Should warn you, though. All the dodging in the world won't help you against True Strike. Swordmasters in particular pose this real problem, so try to keep that in mind. Yeah, this will be a good opportunity to use um, either Leia or um, Aramis, but uh, Leia doesn't have, like, the best um, growth stats either, so... I'd like to stay here as long as I can eke out some kind of living. This is where I was born and raised, after all. Alright, uh... I don't have a guard stationed here? I'll handle it. Oh. There you go, Dinah. I didn't realize I forgot to station someone there. Or, wait, maybe I did have someone stationed there? I, I, I don't know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm crazy. Because I could have sworn there were only two places I didn't have stationed on the map. Uh, Don't promote... Expand units. This is what I want. Uh, is it time? Is it time? I mentioned before, they seem stupid strong already. I do- I do want to focus on the other squads that potentially needed a little bit more than my absurdly busted cavalry squad. So, uh... I mean, it doesn't really matter with either of these, so let's, let's give you an increase in squad size. Um... Yeah. So, I gotta remember to actually utilize that now. You're fighting against those horrible Zenormans and you- and you employ Vestrals in doing so? That's wonderful. Vestrals always look so warm and cozy. I hope I have fur in my next life. <laughs> There's the furry! Doesn't look like uh, anyone used this watchtower in quite some time. There's some equipment in here too, might as well take it. I hope you can have fur in your next life too, friend. Or this one, if you can find a fursuit here in, uh... Here in <laughs> Unicorn Overlord world. Adept's short spear. Passive seal immunity. Critical rate plus 15%. Passive seal immunity is pretty good. Um, ooh, you know, that would be really good on the enemies that inflict passive seal on you if you put that on the Werefox so they can't have their ability to dodge taken away. Something wild animals for meat. Us specials gotta eat too, you know. Something's always gotta die for something else to keep living. It's the way of the world, now and forever. What kind of human can possibly be in charge of the Norma's army? They command such a large forge- Command such a large force, but we never even see their face. Well, they're not a good person, whoever they are. Should be obvious from the way they've kidnapped our brethren and stolen our land. Deliveries... I have salmon. Enjoy. There's a goat. Your bloodline is quite distinct from ours, and yet you came to aid all the same. We're truly grateful. Burp. You're welcome. Alright, station a guard. Oh, Mirard was probably the one I had stationed there, so I did have somebody stationed. We need more characters, though. I'll see it done. Oh my god, we need more characters. I'll never forget the compassion you've shown our humble town. Let's, uh, go over here really quickly and see if I can just hire some... ...some people. Do we have any... Oh my god, Bestrals are so expensive. Yeah, and all these places are gonna have Bestrals. Uh, let's go to, like, Fort Plain over here. I just want, like, some some of the three-cost ones. I mean, five's, five's fine. I just... Good call. I need people to guard forts. Or, or towns, rather. So, get in here. I'm not even Ready gonna to worry... Serve. I'm not even gonna worry about, uh... What you got. There you go. Good call. Yeah, you are. Alright. Good stuff. And... Yeah, so let's go back over here, and then let's move to the left, down to here. So what exactly is going on over here? Heard reports of Bestrals losing control of themselves and refusing to listen to reason. Can't say I'd be willing to take up arms against one of my own, but what if I don't have a choice? All of us are worried about the recent kidnappings. You never know which one of us might be next. I only hope we can find some semblance of peace. There's no worse enemy than a werebear, but also no better ally. Maybe we all really need is a friend who's willing to smash half a village to keep us happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe. It's good to see you again, Elaine. Oh, Rui. You've probably noticed it yourself, but Dinah starts speaking to a little higher humans ever since you came along. Thanks again for everything. You're welcome. Come from Bastarizza to keep the town safe. Don't worry, it's in good hands. Travel safe out there. So do I not have to place a guard here? No, I still have to place a guard. 
Ooh, this one only needs meager timber, of which I have about five billion. Thanks to your aid, I'm finally able to rebuild my ruined house. Nights are much warmer now, but I wouldn't mind being covered in fur either. Boop. Good. Station my guard. One of my three that I got down here. Enjoy, Paul. Take your time. Relax. Ooh. Freeze immunity, accuracy plus 20, attack a single enemy, inflict freeze. That would be good on, uh, like Rosalinda or Elthalinda. Freeze immunity, max HP plus 5. That's probably gonna be pretty good. Um, uh, and let's get a few more of these. Thank you much. Steel axe. Thank you much. Yeah. Thank you much. Steel bow. Thank you much. Uh, sure, steel stabs to Let's get like two of those. Thank you um, much. and then as far as these go, spell steel spear. Thank one more of those. Much. Okay, we need the bows too, but I just want to upgrade a lot of my generic equipment like that. Okay. Now that we're over here, this kind of wraps back down here into the area that is specifically not taken over. So let's explore over here a little bit more. This is a interesting looking... Yeah, it's like a ruined tower. Uh, hi. Would you like to die? There you go. Uh, give. Thank you. Anything down here? Oh! Divine shards times five! Oh my god, that's a lot of divine shards. Just pick up on the ground. I mean, that one was absurdly well hidden, but still. My goodness. Hey, what do you want? We're probably gonna get destroyed. Uh, I don't really have anybody that can beat you super easily, so... Take that. Wait, what? Oh, oh, wait, did I get beat? Oh, jeez. Maybe find it difficult to proceed in that direction, absent the strength to defeat wandering enemies. Let's train our units. Overlord, the, the overworld battles. Sorry, I think I chose the wrong unit. <laughs> and we got sent back. I've never had that happen before. My god. Hello. So, let's just uh, be a little bit more careful about my exploring, yeah? What do you want? You're dead. And you are too. I don't believe it. There are actually people here again. What is this place? The fortified city of Solvaquad, but I could have sworn it had been abandoned. Is that Wolf Friend? Boss! I got bad news, boss! Brock Rat? It's Elaine! And he's got oh my god. With them. They could be banging on our door any second! It's this jackass again! <laughs> I thought I recognized Rock Rat. I was like, wait, Rock Rat? Oh, didn't think unicorns came this far north. You want to make a run for it, boss? And hand him the city without even a fight? No, this place is ours. And we're gonna prove it. Like you did last time? If I'm being honest, we're all gassed from the whole wandering life, too. Then it's time we finally make our stand. We're with you to the end, boss. Every last one of us would be dead in a ditch somewhere if it wasn't for the rock rats dragging us out. You ready, boss? More than. Let's show him how strong a cornered rat can fight. All right, Bryce. You came back, I see. The rock rats in the battle for Solviquad. As I heard, the city was still empty. It looks like these rock rat guys have set up camp. All right, it's just a liberation quest. But probably going to be a little bit more going on in this one. God, that squad's crazy. Uh, give... Uh... Yeah, no one to, like, completely finish you off there. That's a scary squad. Alright. Oh, level 30. Okay, no, we're not doing that then. Not quite the level for that. But it's over here. It's probably why some of those enemies are a little bit of a hard... A hard fight. Okay, so we want to go this away over here. And can I get to here? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go across this bridge first, though. 
see what we can get into. Getting into the battle when it's nighttime would be kind of cool. So I can make proper use of my squad. My be my bestial squad. Hello, there's a werebear. God, they seem scary. Not scared of cavalry, though. Good, good. Okay, you're gonna be not a problem because we have true strike. Okay, and this connects back to there. So we basically just made our way over to this spot, but I've never went all the way up here before. Don't want uh, business with outsiders. Just keep walking. Sandro? Hello. Oh, I'm freezing my tail off here. I can't even afford to drink to warm myself up. There's some important business going on here. Stay out of the way if you know what's good for you. It's like I've seen more and more humans around here lately. Conveyance crystal. More stuff over here. God, there's so much stuff to just gather on the map. Thank you. Can't go in here. Doesn't seem like it. Okay. So I've filled in a bit more of that. All right. Let's hit you and you. What do you have to say? Please, I just want to know if my dad's okay. Sorry, but this place belongs to King Gordon now and he doesn't take questions from children. Get out of here. Uh, hey, you all right there? Well, not really, no. I'm worried, to be honest. It's my dad. He hasn't been home for a few days. Adoptive dad, I guess I should say. His name's Mutson, and he's the human who runs this orphanage. Every time I try to check on him, that soldier says it's the kingdom of Gordonia now, and turns me away like I'm nothing. Not the grand name for a mere building, I must say. Gotta wonder, who's this Gordon anyway? Not sure, and I have no idea what, could what he could possibly want with an orphanage. In any case, I believe we have enough to go on for now. First priority here is to learn more about this Gordon fellow. Call. Let's try asking around the town over to the east. Thank you both. I appreciate this the more you can imagine. Oh, but where are my manners? My name is Lou. Our house is just the north of here, so feel free to stop by if you learn anything. Okay. I don't like the idea that... I really don't like the idea that this character wants access to an orphanage, because that usually leads to bad things like experimentation and stuff, or training them for war. <laughs> And then let's head to town to attempt to glean some information from this Gordon. About this Gordon. The Kingdom of the Kingdom of Gordonia. Door is locked tight. Come on. Come, we should uh, head to town and attempt to glean some information. Okay. We will do just that. Let's see let's see what Gordonia's going on about. Apologies, but I was wondering if you might if I might ask you about a man named Gordon. I'll know him. And I don't want business with outsiders. Keep walking. Seems we'll have to ask elsewhere. Information broker, though. Pardon me, but do you know anything about a man named Gordon? I'm freezing my tail off here. I can't even afford to warm myself up. I seem to be listening. Well, we offer him money, Elaine. It says information broker. Got some important business going on here. Stay out of the way. Okay, you will tell us. Pardon me, but do you know anything about a man named Gordon? Oh, but of course. He's a trader who just came to town recently. He's thirty sort of man and quite well off at that. Oh no, never mind. Yeah, it's it's the slave trade, of course it is. Oh no, they're trafficking the, the bestral kids. He made the rounds greeting everyone when he first arrived, and most took to him instantly. Huh, he doesn't sound so bad. Is there anything else you know? Hmm. Actually I remember Sandro saying something about the man, but you'd have to ask him yourself. Who's Sandro? Owl oh, fellow over there by the lighthouse. He used to work at Mutson's Orphanage, if memory serves right. It is until Gordon came along and started running the place himself. We best speak with him. Let us be off. Hi. Beg your pardon, but we've heard that you used to work at Mutson's Orphanage until recently. Would you be willing to answer a few questions for us? Seems Lou is quite worried about him. You know Lou? Yeah, and we're trying to help him by learning what we can do about this Gordon person. Uh, I would help if I could, but I'm afraid I don't know much beyond the man's name. But the soldier up by the port might. Oh, what's he have to do with this? I've seen him doing business directly with Gordon. I tried to talk to him and see what's what, but he wouldn't say a thing without a password. Perhaps that password is the key to learning what we're after. That's your angle. I suggest you start with the local information broker. He knows everything about anything. At least so long as you're willing to pay for his drinks. Let's see what we can do then. Thank you. Oh my god! This is like a the 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 the, the trading quest. Not trading quests, because not actually trading them anything, but my god. I have to get all this info and go to the next person in line. 
Excuse me, you're the information broker, right? I'm sure what you're talking about. Perhaps a drink can jog your, me jog your memory then. If you can tell us the password used by that soldier over there, we'll be sure to reward you for it. Oh yeah, about a thousand gold. Very well. I could light on gold, friend. Come back when your pockets are a little heavy. Oh no, do I not? <laughs> I spent all my gold. We haven't we haven't run into a quest where I actually needed gold, uh, in quite a while, I guess. Oh no. Um, can I get gold from the Colosseum? Maybe we won't do like a full fledged battle today because we've done so much map exploration. Maybe I go to the Colosseum, get some money, and uh, then we go back. Over there. Yeah, I have 41 gold. I did spend it all. Or 885. Never mind, not 41. 41's... I don't know what 41 was. Was that really my amount of divine shards? Yeah, we get 3,000 gold for doing this. So let's just take out the blazing lancers. Um... Let's see... That's two people that can annihilate my cavalry, so... I'm gonna go with this squad. To battle! Let's have us a fair battle, shall we? Yeah, you like that Eyes of the Warrior Princess? It's spooky, isn't it? Dawnhorn? Guard right up, stun immunity. Uh... Guard seal? Yeah, that's gonna- that's- yeah, your guard rate's gonna- Guard rate's gonna do a whole lot, isn't it, nerds? <laughs> Wide breaker. This is probably not gonna hit, but if it does, the Wyvern Knight. Yeah, no, it didn't. Gloucester, could you hit? 42%. We gotta hit one of these rolls. Nope. Fire breath! Uh-oh. Ah! And we're burning. There we go. Okay, I was waiting for one of them to hit, damn it. There we go. Flame Javelin. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna have a problem against these nerds. Ooh, that pursuit's nasty, though. I can do that, too. Alright, we can skip the rest of it. I think I've, uh, pretty much got that under control. Thanks for the flame javelin. Uh, while we're over here... Wyvern's Lament, huh? Uh... They are weak to magic, aren't they? We do have a fair few flyers as well. The only problem is I don't know that this squad could actually win against that team. Uh... They're also level 27, so... Yeah, yeah, I don't know about that. I think we'll, uh, I think we'll avoid that one for now. I got the money I need, so let's, let's go finish up my quest over here. Just had to take a quick trip to the Coliseum to get some pocket change, you know? Uh... Let's just teleport, like, right, right here, I guess. Yeah, but yeah, I've already been recording for, like, 51 minutes, so... We're getting uh, long on time, and I still got to do a Ring of the Maiden thing this episode, too. Here you go. You want a password? Thousand gold. Here you go. That's a lot of drinks. Appreciate it. I'll have to grab that drink, then. Not going anywhere without telling us the password. Easy, kid. No need to make a scene. Password is Bascaria. Wild grass that grows in our fields. Sure is. Oh, and try not to mess it up. You guys don't take kindly to folks who get it wrong. Understood. You have our thanks. Come on, Elaine, we should be able to learn something from that soldier now. Hey, you. Wait a sec, did King Gordon send you? Out with the password then, come on, I don't got all day. Bascaria. Well, that's it. Guess you really do work for King Gordon after all. I wonder what happens if I get it wrong. Well, you can tell them we're almost done here. Cargo's just about loaded up. I kind of assumed it was just the carrot game was just gonna give it to you automatically. But, uh, if I had known it was an option, I would have saved before. What cargo are you transporting? Not a clue, and from the sounds of it, he didn't tell you neither. Only thing I can say is that it's heavy as hell. It reminds me, let your great king know I'm gonna charge extra for the sore back once this is all done with. Right, we'll do that. Let's go over everything we learned so far. First, Gordon is a trader who arrived here recently. He's a man of solid physique and apparent wealth. Then, uh, upon coming to town, he sees the Mutson's orphanage almost instantly. And finally, he's now trying to move some unknown heavy cargo out of this port. What do you think we're dealing with here? Only one way to find out. We must have a look around this kingdom. I feel like this is incredibly obvious, but they're beating around the bush. Oh wait, the door was locked the last time we checked. The building originally belonged to Mutson, yes? Perhaps Luke can help us get inside. 
This is like the most like running around and talking to people I've had to do for a quest in this game so far. Usually, you know, I just walk up, we have a conversation, and it throws me into a battle. I thought Lou said he'd be here. Think something might have happened to him? Hard to say, but look. Footprints. Perhaps they'll lead us to lose position. We're there at the light? Yeah, we're running all over the place. Interesting. Footprints lead straight into that cave. We should tread carefully, Yenfi. There's no knowing of what uh, might no knowing what we might find inside. Where could he have gone? Nice looking cave. I've got a scent this way. Come on. Been too many people sniffing around these parts of late. And it looks like we got one of Mutsen's little brats to thank for that. Uh, I'm not afraid of you. Tell me where my dad is. <laughs> you got fire, kid. Too bad I'm gonna have to put it out. Now don't make this harder than it's gotta be. What the hell, Vanguard? You're supposed to be good at blocking arrows. I guess your back was turned, to be fair. It's you! I dare not think about the consequences had we arrived a moment later. Come, let us be rid of this place. Kingdom of Gordonia. Or Gordonia. Which sounds way dumber. Keep the orphanage? Huh, here I always keep it with me. Thanks, we should be able to get in no problem now. What do you do in the meantime, Lou? I'd rather not leave you alone again if we can avoid it. I'll take him. Sancho! Oh, of course, it's only right he be watched over by an employee of the orphanage. Former employee, you mean. Gordon threw me out, remember? I want to know just what foul, what that foul man is up to, and you can leave Lou to me until you find the answer. Understood. And thank you, Sandro. I like how your staff looks like a heart. I don't know what's going on here, Elaine, but I do know it's got me worried. Indeed. Now let us return to the orphanage. Back we go. This is a pretty big portion of the map uh, I've filled in over here now. Bestorius... It definitely had less going on. It had like a few major battles and that was kind of it. But now that we've kind of cleared that out, we're, we're really making headway through this place. So definitely not as big as like Elheim or definitely not Drakenhold. Drakenhold or Cornea is probably the biggest ones we've been to. The most, like, most content dense, I guess. I'm not talking about, like, big as in size-wise. I think Drakenhold does hold the... Does hold the award for that, but... As far as density, there was a lot to do in Cornea. Now, well, let's head inside. Someone's coming. We should hide. King Gordon, sir, I have news. Hmm, good. Oh my god, wait, it's this asshole. Oh my god, wait, it's you. <laughs> it's you. Wait, wow, we have a lot of returning characters here. The man we fought in the witch's village, Beaumont. Let's hear it then. Sir, we've got wind of a peculiar group of renegades slinking around asking questions about you, sir. Peculiar indeed. It wouldn't do to have people learning of our little operation here. Speaking of which, how goes our next delivery? Have you layabouts loaded the product onto the ship? How did we sneak in here in with Elaine in a full suit of armor without you hearing us? Your hearing is bad. We were just across the room. There was like a table separating us. We have, sir. We should be ready to set sail shortly. That's the answer I wanted to hear. Procuring this orphanage was no easy feat, but it should all come good in the end. Assuming the little devils fetch their fair price at the slave auctions. You are the devil selling these poor orphans into slavery. Who goes there? Uh, nobody. Uh-oh. Run, Unifi. Don't let them escape! Okay, Gordon. And, or, or Beaumont, as we know. All this time, Gordon was our old enemy, Beaumont. Worry about that later. We've got to get to the port before that ship leaves with the orphans. Dude, we'll deploy for battle at once. 
Okay. We will not actually deploy for the battle at once. Uh, I think we'll take care of that next time, but we have the setup and everything out of the way, so I can just do that next time. I think what I want to do right now is go ahead and get one of the Ring of the Maiden things done. So, uh, god, look at how much progress we've made. Feels like just yesterday I was walking the Drakenhold for the first time, and now look at it. Alright, well, um, I am going to go to the tavern and eat some things. I remember this place had some pretty good stuff. So, uh, who do we actually want hanging out? Let's see. Sharon's pretty close to three. I am, I am interested in, uh, Berenice. So who does Berenice... Oh no, I didn't mean to, didn't mean to do that. Um, who does Berenice have interactions with? Um... Who does Berenice have stuff with? Morden? Would be good. And... I think it's five. So Elaine, Berenice, Morden... Osh? Lane, Berenice, Morden, Osh, Adel, and Clive? Lane, Morden... Oh no, let's do a Lane, Morden, Berenice, Clive, and Adel. Let's do that. Alright, hello. I would like to go hit up the tavern. Oh, I... Hello there. Uh oh. What can I, get started for you? I don't have a lot of money. Um... Maybe, maybe we should do Osh? Let's, let's, let's put, let's put Osh in. Just because... Uh, yeah, let's not put in Morden. Let's put in Adel and Clive now, because I'm pretty sure both of them have things. And I can't do much food, so ideally... We get a level 3 pretty quickly off of this, although I might have to go... <sighs> no level 3s. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to go do- <laughs> we're gonna have to go do some more Coliseum, aren't we? Uh, I was just saying I didn't know if I would be able to beat them. I did spend, like, all of my money, to be fair, so... Back to the Coliseum! I could sell some things, but... Uh, alright. Wyvern's Lament. Uh, they're gonna be doing some pretty nasty fire damage and stuff. Their evasion is quite good. The druid is annoying. Maybe I just send, like, this squad at them. I feel like if anybody could beat them, it would be this squad. Um, otherwise I would have to put in a bunch of true strike... ...people. This squad could maybe do well against them as well, but... Let's try with this squad and see what happens. Let's just see. To battle. Really, really quickly. Pose little threats. Uh, possibly. Uh, that's attack and initiative. Which does suck. Uh, refresh. Mm, here's the fire breath. They are faster than us. Okay, that doesn't do that much. Frenzied strike. I'm just gonna need to hit some, is gonna be the problem. And that burn, we don't have to worry about now. So, yeah, if I can just hit, like, once, we'll be fine. That's been 40% chance on all of them. Oh my god, and we get zero hits. That's unfortunate. Gloucester, I'm really, really gonna need you to hit that, uh... Something. God, they're quite tanky, too. Luckily, they don't do much damage to us, either. Or if you hit this, please, just hit someone. Oh my god, that's three 50% chance, basically, rolls that I've missed now. <laughs> well, six, because the other one was a multi-target, too. Gloucester, can you hit yours? I mean, I know this wasn't the best squad for this, but... God damn, I really thought I would hit one of those, for fuck's sake. I'm here to help. Like, come on. All I need is, like, one hit. They've basically not damaged us at all. Okay, there we go. Finally. Unfortunately, that is big damage. You're taking big damage there. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work out. What? Okay, I did win. Never mind, we did it. Nailed it, I guess. 
<laughs> like I said, I got robbed because every single- there were three enemies out of like 48% probably around their average chance of hitting them. And I missed all three of them twice. So I was like, what? All I need to hit is like one. My god. Can I get anything cool to prize exchange yet, by the way? Nothing but the best here, champ. So, uh, this stuff is very expensive. <laughs> 2,000, and I have 390. Like I said, I don't think I'm even going to be able to ever afford anything except for when, like, we completely finish it off. Okay, so 3,000 should be enough for two more meals. Maybe we can make this work. Three with Berenice. <laughs> And Adel and Clive also have it. Uh, so, full disclosure, just to get a little bit of extra money, because that one that I didn't do, I had to sell some of my, like, excess equipment. I basically just sold, like, the bronze stuff and the recruit stuff, because that's so far outclassed at this point, I don't really need it. But I didn't want to have to go back to the Coliseum to get enough to buy a bunch of chicken. So, yeah, that's, that's what we did, and it worked out. So... Elaine... And... where are you at? Elaine Berenice. There you are. Alright, I don't know which number this is. I think this is the- I think this is the final one, so we probably should be able to just... Romance Berenice after this. Which is cool! I like- I like marrying the cool muscle mommy. Yet again, your training prowess proves a test of metal, Berenice. But hey, at least you got the guts to keep uh, coming back for more. This reminds me of myself when I was younger. Does it now? I only won't believe it looking at me. But I got bullied all the time as a, as a kid. It does come as a surprise, yes. Oh, well, blame all the bad harvests we used to have. I was mostly skin and bones most of the time. I wanted nothing more than to be able to stand up for myself, so I started training. Now look at me, tough enough to take down every bu last bully in Fevrith. That's why I decided to become a knight, actually. Up kids like me who didn't have it in them to fight it back. Didn't last all that long, sadly. Whether it's the biggest war or the tiniest bra, the world preys on the weak day in, day out. Someday I'm gonna change that. Hope you do. Fighting for the same reason, right? Make a better life for all our people? I am. We really should be getting back to our training now, Berenice. Sorry, not in the mood anymore. I think I need a little change of pace after all that depressing stuff. What did you have in mind? Rematch. Still haven't gotten over losing to you the day we met. Should have known you'd suggest another form of exercise. Hey, it's not like you're any better. You and I both know you'd rather be doing this than sewing or painting. I won't deny that. I suppose it would do us well to measure the results of our training. It's not expected to go as easy as last time, yeah? Yeah, you're a, you're, you're a land schneck to now. Cool! Alright, so that should be the final one with you. So let's see what the Berenice one uh, is like. I am actually very excited for the Berenice one. Berenice was one of the characters that I thought was really cool and was interested in, so... Let's- let's go see what our muscle mommy thinks. Let's go get Elaine's head crushed like a watermelon. Uh, let's, uh, save first, though. There we go. Beautiful. Alright, Berenice! I'm interested to see what Berenice's reaction is going to be. Here you've got words for me, Elaine. What can I do for you? I'd like you to have the Ring of the Maiden. I'd like you to have the Ring of the Maiden. <sighs> and here I was hoping you wanted to spar. Too bad. I, uh, there are multiple ways of sparring. <laughs> Berenice, please. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bad habit. We've let our swords do the talking enough. By now, I know what you're feeling, even without steel in your hand. We've locked blades countless times of late. I have the scars to prove it. And yet, I treasure each one as a lasting symbol of our unity. You're the finest partner I could ever ask for, Berenice. Both in sparring and in life. Ah. <sighs> I saw this coming from a mile away, but I had no idea it would feel so... embarrassing. Berenice blush! Look at the Berenice blush! <laughs> <laughs> Just know that I'm not gonna stop training until I finally overtake you. 
So don't use this oath as an excuse to slack off, or I'll be at your heels in no time flat. Of course. I'll strive to remain strong and able as long as years allow it. Guess that's it then. Now, I was thinking we could use a session or two to really get us ready for Galerius. What do you say? It would be a pleasure. Wherever you lead, I'll gladly follow. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there we go. That's a sweet one. They really, really like their sparring sessions, huh? Maybe, maybe they get, maybe they get hot and heavy <laughs> battling like that. <laughs> hey, rank to S. History shall speak their names. Oh, but I'm about to lose this progress. Yeah, yeah, cool. What? Oh, okay. Well, we'll see what we get. Thanks for sure your feet of goodwill you've done for this continent, my prince. Your name is sung to land over, and even the most distrustful commoner now supports your march. I must say you've grown into a fine young man indeed. And should you so desire the sacred blade held within, I expect the royal mausoleum will now grant you entrance! Oh, so that's what we get. Souls your ancestors await. Now let us make for the mausoleum whenever you prepare to answer their call. Oh, I'm sorry. That was alternate reality, Elaine. <laughs> we'll get there soon, though. We're n we weren't that many point renowned points away from it anyway. So, alrighty. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.